Hello, my friend. I am very excited to bring you another Stitch Fix video. The reaction to my first one was so incredibly positive. I appreciated all the things that you told me from the pieces that you liked and the ones that you didn't like and sizing and all of that and, and your own experiences with Stitch Fix. I decided to make another one for the spring season. So if you would like to know what I got in my Stitch Fix and whether I like like it or not, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. So one of the things that I did when I started Stitch Fix again for like the third time was that I lied about my age. <laughs> <laughs> I told them that I was in my 20s when I'm actually in my 40s to hope that they would style me younger because my biggest complaint about Stitch Fix in the past is they styled me like I was going to an office, that I was, you know, a professional of some sort that needed to wear very flowery pieces that I felt like were way older than I felt in my soul. So I told them that I was younger. Now, I appreciate the people that commented under the last video and said that they've been ordering from Stitch Fix and getting similar pieces, even though they've said that they're in their 40s or 50s. That cleared things up for me, but that being said, I didn't change my age. Just to make sure I still lied to Stitch Fix because I just don't trust it. Now I have seen photos of what's in this box, but I have not opened it. So let me go ahead and slice into this baby and let's see what I got this season. If you are not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a clothing subscription where there is a human being that picks out clothes for you and then sends them to you to try on. And you do pay a styling fee. I think it's $20 for that person to do that. But then the $20 goes toward the price of the clothes that you keep. So really enjoy truly you're guaranteeing that you're gonna buy at least one thing or you lose your $20. For me, I like clothing subscriptions because I don't like shopping for clothes at stores. I find that I spend hours and hours looking at clothes and finding very little that I like. So I would rather somebody that's better at fashion than me pick out my clothes. This is not a sponsored video. I do pay full price for this. After I show you what I got, I'm gonna try everything on so that I can get your opinion of what you think about this stuff because I am not a fashion guru. It's just not my jam. So I need your help, please help me. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Look at this. This I think is so cute. I think this is gonna be really cute with like a white shirt underneath it. It's kind of baggy. It reminds me of the 90s and grunge rock and all of that. I'm definitely excited to try this on. I'm gonna look in my little envelope and find out how much everything costs as we go. So it looks like this piece is $46, which seems like it's pretty much on point for what you might pay in the mall. All right, we have a t-shirt from Market and Spruce, which I think is their clothes company, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there though. It is just a plain green t-shirt. Uh, not super interesting. There is a bit of a, um, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there's a little bit of a curve at the bottom, which is cute. Uh, price on this is $28. It does seem really soft and I love olive green. So we will see about that one. It's kind of ordinary though. I like plain and ordinary, but it's, it's kind of, I'm not sure. This does not look ordinary. This is cute. The price on this is $58. It looks like this is the most expensive thing along with one other thing thing in here. Uh, and it looks like this. This may look bad on me. You'll have to tell me. I think I'm going to need your help on this one because this could look very grandma-y on me or it could look cute. I don't know. I'm probably going to need help. Let me pull this down here. Get it out of my way. Price on this next piece is $44 and... I have a feeling this is gonna be a no. This looks like uh, they're styling me old again. <laughs> but we'll have to see. I, I think this is, this is gonna be a little bit um, not me, but I'll try it on. I did specifically ask for tops this time because I am overloaded with jeans. I do not need jeans anymore and I don't really wear anything on the bottoms except for jeans. So I asked for specifically tops. And then finally, this is the other thing priced at $58. Uh, it is another color block hoodie and I love this pattern. I don't know if this is gonna be worth $58. I ordered these separate. I wanted some nice socks. Um, John got me, my husband got me some socks for Christmas and they are from 
the Me Undies brand, and they fall down so bad. Like when I'm walking, the back just scrunches down under my foot, and I haven't been able to figure out a way to get them to stay up. Like I'm almost to the point because I don't want to throw them away to like put a rubber band around my ankle or something because I don't want to get rid of them, but they really are very uncomfortable. So I wanted to try some new socks. This was $16 for a six pack, which I feel like, you know, it's not the cheapest, but it's not overly priced, I don't think. Let me try these on first because I can. I don't think I can return these if I open them though. Hopefully they're good. They feel really, really soft. Ooh, they feel really good. Hopefully they will stay up when I'm wearing my shoes. They feel fabulous. Ooh, I like those. Ooh, that's nice. I grew up with like the multi-packs of socks from Kmart. So I, when John introduced me to not really cheap socks, I kind of became a sock snob and these feel really, really good. All right, now that I've tried socks on, cause that's the least exciting thing that I got, let's try on the shirts. All right, here is the olive green t-shirt. And I do like that it covers my bum bum a little bit. It's very, very soft. It feels good. Last time when we were trying things on, it was really tight. And you could see that I have a little, little bit of something going on here and people were commenting on it, uh, which was a little uncomfortable to have people comment. <laughs> on that, but that's what happens when you try on fashion, right? And I, I think I'm on the fence for this one because I feel like I kind of own a lot of things that are like this. I don't really need this, but I think what might sell me on this is maybe putting the plaid shirt over top, but this could be bad. We'll have to see. Everything is just so soft and I love that. I remember when I was ordering this for my oldest, they are very, very sensitive to texture where if anything is rough or scratchy, like they would not wear jeans for the longest time. And I noticed that a lot of the things from Stitch Fix that they would get were very, very soft. And I'm noticing that with this fix that everything is really soft. I was just reading the note from my stylist. Her name is Ashley and she said that she wished that she could be here to to uh, see me try everything on. So Ashley, in my note, I will tell you that this video exists. So if you're watching, hi, Ashley, thank you for styling me. And I kind of feel masculine in this, but I don't hate it. <laughs> I kind of love this. <laughs> and I think Ashley's right. She was saying to pair it over top of a black tank. And she was saying that you can wear it with like leggings and that would be really cute. I think that the plaid shirt is totally a win. This is, this is cute. I like this a lot. All right, this one is totally different, my friend. This is totally different. What do you think? I I kind of like it. I am wearing a dark bra, just ignore that. I wouldn't do that with this in the future, but it is good to see like that you can see my straps here. So that is, that's not something I realized was going to happen with the shirt. I didn't realize that this was sheer up here, so. I don't know. I don't like wearing uh, like uh, strapless bras. They're super uncomfortable. So I would definitely wear this with like a flesh colored bra. So I don't know if that's like taboo to have your bra strap showing, or maybe I can just tuck the straps in. I don't know. <laughs> Let me try that. Let's try tucking the straps in and see if that's comfortable. It's weird how a strapless bra is so uncomfortable, but tucking my straps in for some reason, it doesn't feel as uncomfortable as something that's meant to be strapless. What is up with that? Am I the only one that feels that way? I don't know. But anyway, this is the back of it and it's just really cute. I think I like this. I think I'm gonna go a little bit more adventurous, something a little less plain, and I think I might keep this too. But I would love to know what you think. This time I was smart and I scheduled my me to return my fix after this video goes live so I can get your opinion before I keep things because I think if I had waited after the last video to get your opinion first, there's some things I wouldn't have kept. So I'm gonna be smart this time and wait for y'all to weigh in. But yeah, I think I like this. It's really cute. All right, the next piece is the one that I did not like. So let me try it on. All right, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> It's really not. I thought it was gonna be much worse. I do like how they're all hanging down on my butt. I like that, I think that's cute. I don't hate it. I thought I was gonna hate it. I don't hate it. It is slightly tight here, but it's not bad enough that it's gonna bother me. And I think that you can undo these. I'm not gonna do it right now. Well, I probably should. Let me undo these and just see what it looks like in case I decide to do that. Like, what would it look like? It just looks like that, undone 
which is, I don't like that though with the button there. I think, I think you really are supposed to keep it up. I'm gonna keep it up. But yeah, let me know what you think about this one too, because I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't know. And also you do get a discount if you keep everything. So if the discount seems worth it, then I might just keep the whole box because I think I'm gonna like the next one. Okay, all right, so I think my big crime with the last hoodie that I got was that I pulled it down like this, and like you can see what's happening here when I do that, but if I like don't pull it down so tight, I think that it's fine. I would definitely wear it with a different bra because this one you can really see my bra underneath, so that's not cute, um, but I do have bras that would look better under this. I should have thought of that before I got dressed today, but um, but yeah, I love the where the white comes to on me. I love that it like points downward like that. I feel like it's really flattering, like this whole thing. It's very cute. All right, we need to talk. We need to talk, hold on. Even flow. I have no idea what he says there, but that's the way I feel in this. I ran upstairs and got a black tank and I am so in love with this. Like I can't even stand it. Like I, I love it so much. One thing I wanted to mention is that here they have different ways to style the outfits because if you're fashion challenged like I am, I need this. <laughs> so here's the deal. Because again, I am not sending this back. I'm not making any final decisions until after I hear from you this time. I am definitely keeping this. I will tell you that. That is happening. And this black tank looks really cute. I've had this tank top literally for like 17 years. <laughs> and it still looks great. Like in hindsight, I don't think I necessarily need this green shirt, even though I like it. Like it's kind of like, I don't, I don't know if I need it. I need your help to tell me whether this looks good. I feel like it looks good, but last time I thought it looked good and a lot of y'all told me it did not look good. So help me out on that one. The purple shirt I'm kind of on the fence with, I don't, it's okay for me, but maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. And then the same thing about this shirt. I kind of like it, but I don't know. Like, I need your help here. This is the way that it works out. The buy all discount is about $58. It's $58.50. So how they get you is like, let's say I just don't get the green shirt, but I keep everything else. I'm gonna end up paying more than if I kept the green shirt because the value on the green shirt is only $28. But if I knock out just either the flutter shirt or the hoodie, then that's $58 and I'll essentially be paying the same thing. But if I knock out two things, it'll be cheaper just to get the things that I want. So at this point, my friend, it is your turn. I need your help down in the comments down below. What do you think I should keep? Are there things that I'm not noticing about the pieces that I was trying on that maybe you noticed? I would love to know what you think down in the comments down below. Help a girl out. And thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you enjoyed the video, definitely hit the thumbs up button. I know it doesn't look like you're doing very much, but I promise you it does make a difference. For me, it tells YouTube, hey, this is a good video. Let's share it with other people. And then I can get more opinions and more help with my stitch fix and I would really love that. And if you would like to hang out just a little bit longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple videos for you right over here to watch. But if it is your time to go, it is no problem at all. You probably got stuff to do. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did and mad love to you. And I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.